Welcome to the road to Glasgow. I'm Mossy. He's Robbo. We're just about to head across the ocean in a big metal tube. But Robbo, tell us, how many days to go to Glasgow? Mossy, it is absolutely amazing. It's only one week to go, seven days to go. In fact, this time in a week, we'll have actually witnessed the opening ceremony. It will be coming, uh, done and dusted and uh, absolutely can't wait for that. Yeah, well, look, I still haven't slept. I'm hoping to get at least one sleep in before uh, we get across there. Now, speaking across there, mate, as always, you've got your finger on the pulse. I'd like to know what has been the biggest news this week as far as Commonwealth Games go. Mossy, I mentioned the opening ceremony. It's been announced. Rod Stewart will oh, be rock performing. And rock. I know you're a huge fan. Susan Boyle also there. So look out for them uh, to feature in the opening ceremony. Mossy, the other big news is inside the village, they've appointed the chieftains, as you can see here. Uh, former Scottish rugby great Gavin Hastings is the chieftain of the Athletes Village and a big thumbs up to him and you'll see him around give him a high five and the other big news Mossy is the reaction to these huge hedges of Clyde there's two of them uh, dotted around Glasgow itself they've spent £44,000 on these things they're beautiful but some of the locals are blowing up saying they've spent a bit much I don't think they've spent enough much, no, much looks there could be more $44,000 is that all? Pounds, I mean, pounds. pounds even yeah. wow that's like almost 100000 Australian dollars mate that is uh, cheap That's no. they've been to Bunnings no, well, they look at, and they're, they're beautifully crafted so we can't wait to uh, climb all over the hedged cr- Clydes now listen mate talk about beautifully crafted we uh, know that the Australian athletics team the Flame are going to be in Gateshead for their holding camp. Now, it just so happens that we have a Gateshead here in Newcastle. Um, you wanted to get things set straight. You wanted to get out there on the streets to find out uh, what the reaction has been to the Commonwealth Games Athletics uh, holding camp being in Gateshead. Yeah, look, I, I thought that's where they were, mate, and uh, let's roll the tape. Uh, I went down there trying to find them. Let's see what I found. Well, we're only days away from the opening ceremony of the Commonwealth Games. We'd love to catch up with some of the athletes. And the word that we've got is that the Australian athletics team are in a holding camp in Gateshead, just south of Newcastle. So we decided we'd head down to Gateshead, as you can see here, uh, just south of Newcastle. Let's see if we can go and find some athletes. Excuse me, sir. Have you seen the Australian athletics team? No, I haven't. Not yet. All right. They're dressed like this. They're uh, in the uh, bright yellow uniform. You haven't seen them at all? Oh, well, I've seen that, yes. Lovely. Yeah. Nice, isn't it? Excuse me, can I just ask you a quick question? Yeah, sure. Uh, just wondering if you've seen the Australian Athletics team. Commonwealth Games? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. This is Gateshead, isn't it? Yeah. Right. Gateshead, bro! Yeah. <laughs> Mate, have you seen the Australian Athletics yeah, team at all? Yeah. All right. So uh, we're here in the fish and chip Hello. shop. Uh, wondering if, if you've, have you seen the Australian Athletics team at all? No, I haven't. So you haven't seen Jess Trengove? No. You haven't seen this fella, Michael Shelley? No. What about Zoe Buckman? Have you seen her? No. Surely you've seen Collis Birmingham? No. Can you tell me where's the Gateshead International Stadium? Hunters Ford Door is all I know. And can you tell me where is the Hilton in Gateshead? There's a lot of Hilton in Gateshead. I think that's where they're staying. The Hilton? Is there a motel or where would they stay? And uh, and he's a pub. At the pub, right? (laughs) Check there. Excuse me, sir, have you seen the Australian Athletics team? When? Uh, Today. They're apparently in a holding camp in Gateshead. No, I haven't seen them anywhere. So you haven't seen Sally Pearson? No. Collis Birmingham? No. They might be in Gateshead West. Try up the road. All right. Thanks, mate. Excuse me, mate. Uh, have you seen the Australian Athletics team at all? No, I haven't, mate. All right. Oh, excuse me. Have you seen the Australian Athletics team? No, mate. No. You haven't seen Melissa Breen? No. You haven't seen Robbie Crowther? No. Oh. no. This is Gateshead, isn't it? Yes. All right. Any? You know where the Gateshead International Stadium is? Um... Maybe in the UK. Okay, we might have to keep looking. Thank you. Well, there you have it, folks. We've looked everywhere here in Gateshead. We cannot find an Aussie athlete to save ourselves. We even thought we'd come to Gateshead Body Repairs to see if Sally Pearson was in here trying to get a new hamstring. Uh, So the search has been unfruitful. We'll keep looking. And that's Robbo signing off from Gateshead.
So, Robbo, no one really knew about the Commonwealth Games. It's sort of flying under the radar. No, it's been very much... Uh, oh, maybe that's part of the Aussie strategies, just to not let the media know and just go undercover. Um, the facilities aren't that great down there. I couldn't really see where there was a track. Uh, the motel wasn't that great either. So, look, I hope they're getting looked after. Um, we'll, uh, yeah, we'll wish them all the best. Well, one thing we do know is they do a mean snag down there. So. Oh, uh, good schnitzel. Uh, oh, Five, Thursday night, as you might have seen, $5 schnitties. Oh, mate, you can't go past that. Now, speaking of can't go past, a uh, huge fan of the hockey. The boys and the girls, so the Kookaburras and the Hockey Roos, are favourites to go back-to-back and win the Commonwealth Games once again. Now, they've been a little bit risque, the Kookaburra boys, and we just bring up a picture now, and you can see they're sort of hiding a few things. Some of the guys have actually got their uh, placards a bit lower I than others. I saw that, yeah. Yes, and uh, we do understand that uh, Kieran Govers was a, uh, a big instigator with that, and we can see, uh, look in the top left there, is Simon Orchard. The Orchard. The boy, the boy from Bolt. Warra, so yeah, getting out there, Robert. I like how they had to jump into a sauna to get that done, just to make sure that they uh, could have those signs as big as possible. Yeah, and a great rugby mate of mine uh, said that hockey players are fit guys who don't like getting hurt. Well, we look forward to watching the Aussie hockey team in action. And Mossy, what else can you tell people about where to find us during the course of the games? Absolutely. Probably the easiest way to find us will be on Facebook. Go to Mossy and Robbo. We'll also go to mossyandrobbo.com. But we're going to have the announcement. Should we announce it now of the, the new website? Go, Mossy. Glasgowgold.tv. That's right. It is Glasgow Gold all the way. And we expect that Australia will win every gold medal available, even in the judo, Robbo. Yes, Lion. I know you're softening about the judo, Mossy. Uh, I think we're going to do really well. Okay, and as always, folks, don't forget to run, jump and chuck. <laughs>